Good morning students. Thank you very much students for clicking on my video. I am your Nagini ma'am chemistry mentor. In today's section I am going to discuss about the EAN means effective atomic number rule students or Sidgwick theory. It was given by uh, Sidgwick, Sidgwick students. This is the topic from the coordination compounds 12th class 2nd PUC. Clear students. So from this section students from this topic EAN okay now we can uh, calculate we can we, we can uh, say the compound coordination compound which is more stable see here this is the coordinate this is the coordination compound ion this is the compound ion which is more stable which is more stable how to find it by using this ean rule we can easily find which is more stable students okay now which is more stable we can say okay first i will go to uh, i'm going to discuss ean rule students definition E A N. What is the definition, students? E A N means effective atomic number of a metal in a complex. Effective atomic number E A N. E A N of a metal in a complex. In a complex is the number of electrons present in the metal. Is the number of electrons number of electrons present in the metal present in the metal metal ion present in the metal ion right number of electrons present in the metal ion plus the number of electrons plus the number of electrons number of electrons donated to it by the ligand by the ligand so this is about the ean role are you clear it is it is ean role students what is EAN? E, we are calculating the uh, electro effective atomic number for the metal ion. Okay, now e effective atomic number of a metal in a complex. Okay, now metal in a complex is the number of electrons present in the metal ion plus the number of how many electrons are present in the metal ion plus the number of electrons donated to it by the ligand. And the ligand we know that it is a always ready. Um, ligand is nothing but electron donor. It, it is donating the lone pair. So uh, how many electrons donated to the metal ion already it is having some electrons and how many electrons donated to it by the ligand the total number of electrons represents the effective atomic number students to calculate this effective atomic number there is a formula students effective atomic number e a n formula is atomic number atomic number of metal okay na? atomic number of the metal minus oxidation state oxidation state of the metal oxidation state of the metal plus 2 into number of ligands plus 2 into number of ligands clear students so this is the formula students you have to follow this formula um, from this formula you can calculate the ean value okay now if suppose the ean value of the metal atom okay now value of the metal atom uh, is equal to the atomic number of the nearest double gas element okay now then we can say the compound the, the compound ion is more stable are you understanding students that means an value when it is equal to the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element then we can say that the compound ion is more stable so what i told you an value okay if it is equal to the equals to the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element atomic number of the nearest noble gas element then we can say the compound ion is 
more stable are you clear so please uh, for remember this one students it is not uh, it is a trick okay it is a trick you have to remember this point students okay so en value en value if it is equals to the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element then the compound ion is more stable students we can say the compound ion is more stable okay now now we are going to calculate the en value students i am taking here these two complexes i gave na complex ions i am taking the two uh, complex ions which is more stable now i will discuss you students i am taking the first example first example एफ ई सी एन सिक्स टाइम्स फोर माइनस एफ ई सी एन सिक्स टाइम्स फोर माइनस सी ना ना आई एम गोयिंग टू क्यालुलेट ए एन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स अयान ओके ना हाउ टू फाइंड इट सो वाट इज इ एन फार्मुला स्टूडेंट्स इ एन ऑफ ऐरन वी आर गोयिंग टू क्यालुलेट सेंट्रल मेटल ऐटम इज ऐरन आई एम गोयिंग टू क्यालुलेट इ एन वैल्यू एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ द मेटल वाट इज द एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ मेटल स्टूडेंट्स ऐरन एटॉमिक नंबर इज हाउ मच ना ना ऐरन एटॉमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स कदा सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स minus oxidation state of the metal oxidation state of the metal we have to find it iron we are going to calculate the oxidation state here oxidation state of iron uh, how to find it iron plus iron we are going to calculate 6 into cn cyanide ion oxidation number is minus 1 here charge is equal to minus 4 right here outside the outside equal to that's the right hand side now fe plus fe minus 6 is equal to minus 4 iron is equal to minus 4 plus 6 how much students minus 4 uh, plus 6 Minus four plus six. Then iron oxidation number is plus two students. Are you clear? This oxidation number of iron. So right there, oxidation number of iron is two. Okay, this one over. Next plus two into number of ligands. So plus two into number of ligands. How many ligands are there? Six ligands are there. So see two into six. Then how much? Now na twenty six minus two twenty four plus two six are twelve. Total thirty six. So E A N value. of iron 36 it is the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element to iron is which one students krypton are you clear so this is the equal to the nearest noble gas element atomic number krypton atomic number 36 en value 36 of uh, en value of iron also 36 so that means en value of iron 36 is the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element krypton so that's why this compound is more stable are you clear so that's Say it is stable compound. Are you understanding? So FeCN six four minus ion is more stable. Now I am going to check the second complex ion. Okay, na FeCN six minus three. Listen, students. Second compound I am going to discuss. Second one FeCN six minus three. Okay. Now see this one. How to find it? What is the E A N value, students? What is the formula? E A N is equal to atomic number of the metal atom minus oxidation state of the central metal atom plus two into number of ligands. Correct? So first, I am going to calculate the oxidation number of iron. What is the oxidation number? Oxidation number of iron. So I am going to calculate iron plus six into cyanide oxidation number minus one. Is equal to minus three. So iron is equal to minus three plus six plus three is the oxidation number. Clear this one. Plus three is the oxidation number, right? Now atomic number of iron is twenty six minus oxidation number is three plus two into number of ligand six there twenty six minus three twenty three plus two six at twelve total thirty five. It is not the atomic number of noble gas element. Are you clear? Krypton thirty six. Are you understanding? So it is not the atomic number of the. It is not the atomic number of the. Uh, which one student? Nearest noble gas element, krypton. So it is. Ah, uh, it is not the atomic number of uh, uh, which one element, uh, krypton. Are you clear? Krypton. So that's why it is uh, unstable. Are you clear, students? Which is more stable, or we can say that less stable. 
okay it is less stable which is more stable students that compound ion are you understanding so that means an value of the metal metal atom which is having the um, metal atom it is equal to the atomic number of the uh, atomic number of the nearest noble gas element then we can say that the the compound ion is more stable are you clear so that is the uh, an value students clear this one See students, next example. CO NH three six plus three. Okay. Now this compound is stable or not stable. We have to find it. Okay. Now I'm going to calculate EAN value, students. EAN is equal to atomic number of cobalt. Atomic number of cobalt twenty seven students. Next. oxidation number of cobalt so we have to find the oxidation number of cobalt oxidation number of cobalt how much nana cobalt uh, cobalt plus nh36 ammonia is a, is a neutral ligand so oxidation number is 0 equal to plus 3 so oxidation number is plus 3 students so here oxidation number is 3 next one in the formula oxidation number 3 next plus 2 into number of ligands 2 into number of ligands number of ligands how many six ligands are there so 2 into 6 then 27 minus 3 24 plus 12 24 plus 12 it is equal to 36 that means ean value of cobalt 36 is the atomic number of the krypton are you clear it is the atomic number of krypton so that's why this is more stable so this is the compound compound ion is more stable clear compound ion is more stable students okay namma now i am taking the sec the next example c students co um, another example platinum cl6 next one fourth example pt cl uh, pt cl6 minus 2 now see here uh, how to find the an value EAN is equal to now we can we have to find it is it is stable compound or unstable we have to find it EAN is equal to atomic number of platinum platinum atomic number seventy eight minus oxidation state of the platinum oxidation state how to find it students platinum platinum plus six chlorines chlorine oxidation number is minus one charge minus two so platinum is equal to minus two plus six plus four clear so right here minus 4 plus 2 into number of ligand 6 ligand 78 minus 4 74 plus 12 total how much students 86 so 86 is the atomic number of red on clear understanding atomic number of red on clear this one so it is the noble gas element so uh, an ean value of platinum is equal to the atomic number of red on okay now what are the noble gases helium neon argon krypton xenon red on so red on atomic number is 86 students so that's why the compound ion is more stable the complex ion is more stable are you clear understanding so from this ean rule we can say the complex ion given complex ion is stable or not understanding otherwise two complex three complexes are given which is more stable also we can find it by using the ean value understanding students and one more example students vco5 okay now see this complex vco5 vco5 how to find it students here uh, vanadium vanadium uh, penta uh, this is uh, co this is which one student co carbonyl group amma uh, co vanadium uh, and uh, five uh, carbonyl groups you are taking okay now how to find it students ean value so ean is equal to ean is equal to vanadium uh, how much students 23 atomic number minus cobalt that, that is carbonyl group co it is a it is a neutral ligand so that's why oxidation number carbonyl group oxidation number is zero uh, okay now so that's a vanadium metal oxidation number also zero total five um, here how to write students 2 into number of ligands total 5 then 23 minus uh, uh, how much na na 23 minus 2 5 is 10 then how much you will 23 minus sorry here plus na ma 23 plus 10 33 you will get okay na 
two fives are ten thirty three you will get thirty three is not the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element so that's why it is not the atomic number of nearest noble gas element clear okay so that's why the compound the compound is unstable clear and last example see students last example mn2 co10 mn2 co10 first of all how to write this structure so here manganese here manganese take here co uh, how many are there students five here also co5 okay now how to find it like this first to write structure because here metal atoms central metal atoms two are there so that's why i'm writing like this each metal each metal atom um, is linked with five uh, carbonyl groups students okay now, now how to find it ean ean is equal to manganese oxidation number is 25 minus oxidation state of the manganese is equal to zero because carbonyl groups oxidation neutral ligands zero so that's why manganese also zero plus two into okay plus 2 into how many ligands are there 5 ligands are there are you understand you should not write 10 ligands okay now we are calculating for only one central metal atom one metal atom so that's a 2 into 5 ligands and one electron uh, is involved in the bonding here so that's a plus 1 so total how much students 25 plus uh, 2 fives are 10 plus 1 total 36 it is the atomic number of the krypton so that's why the compound is more stable clear this one it is more stable understood amma it is more stable okay now see students here what i told you trick um ean value if it is equals to the ean value of um, en value of metal clear this one metal if it is equals to the atomic number of the nearest noble gas element then the compound ion is more stable are you clear so this you have to remember students this trick you have to remember then you can answer easily uh, easily which is more stable okay understood amma okay i hope you understood this video if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe my channel students thank you very much students